All right, so part two. This question comes up later on in the tasks, all right? This looks really, really complicated, but it's not too bad once you know what's going on, all right? So we've got to remember these equal signs mean this is the exact same as this. This is this is worth the same amount as this part here, okay? And then you've got these equal signs as well. We're just going to forget about them, okay, for now, all right? So put them under your mind. I'm going to write this out and show you how they've got this, okay? So 5 and 2 and 2 thirds equals, and we're going to work it out ourselves, okay? So what they've done is they multiplied the 5 by the integer part of the number, the whole number. So 5 multiplied by 2 is our 10, just as we've got up here. Then we are going to multiply the numerator of the fraction of the top number, okay? So 5 multiplied by 2, again, is 10 thirds. All right, so if life was really, really simple, we would say 10 and 10 thirds, but we can't do this. Do you notice why? Because here the numerator is much bigger than the denominator, okay? So this means that there's whole numbers here. This is not truly really a mixed number. It's a mix between a mixed number and an improper fraction. An improper fraction, remember, is a fraction that the numerator is larger than the denominator, okay? So we're just going to focus on this part here. I'm going to see if we can get that turn into a mixed number in order to add this onto here. So this is where your knowledge of your times tables comes in really, really handy, all right? So we need to know how many threes go into 10 and how many are left over. So if we can use our fingers, we can go three, six, nine, all right? If we count on, we get 12. So that's too far. So we have to go back to nine, all right? So we know that there are three holes. Do you see that? Because we've got three, six, and nine. All right, so we've essentially got three thirds, three thirds, and three thirds. And then we've got one third left over, all right? So we've got three holes and then a third left over. So it's three and one third. Then all we do is here, instead of doing this, um, Instead of saying 10 and 10 thirds, we are just going to add the 3 and the 1 third onto the 10, okay? So we separated those two. So it's 10, add 3 and 1, sorry. So it's 10, add 3 and 1 third. And then we add those together. So 10, add the 3 is 13. And then just the 1 third left over. Okay, so 13 and a third all right any more questions you've got uh, that you would like me to go through i know that one was particularly complicated but just watch the video back a few times uh, and see how i practice doing it okay as i say any queries you have just message me on the blog and i can put another video together okay thank you bam and good luck